Connecticut's living 9-11 memorial serves as a symbol of hope and remembrance. But decades later, the promise to never forget still being honored here in Connecticut. Ada Mason, Kevin Michael McCarthy. The names of 161 people with ties to Connecticut who died on that tragic day read aloud during the state's 9-11 memorial ceremony. We mourn the loss of thousands of innocents who died on that tragic day. Honoring those who were killed in the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001, including some first responders from Connecticut and a few even surviving the attacks but suffering the fatal effects of post-tragedy disease some years later. And Diane Bullis Snyder, my sister. Recalling the memories of loved ones and how they continue to carry them in spirit. And who passed away, and this is something Diane would have loved. She always wore hearts. Though time cannot heal the hurt of loss, loved ones focused on the positive. The children of my sister, Diane Bullis Snyder, they have evolved into amazing human beings. And one of the things that I notice when we spend time together is that I'm blessed with a glimpse into the spirit of my sister. Through the somber memories, moments of levity and laughter shined through. My husband, Paul R. Hughes, we still think about you every day and know you're watching out for us. Or maybe you can work some magic at the New York Yankees. <laughs> A major theme of the ceremony, hope and the best of humanity. The fact that our country came together as one after 9-11 um, is a source of great hope. And I'd just like to think that it doesn't take a tragedy to bring us together as a people. The ceremony ended with a moment of silence and the placing of white roses at Connecticut's 9-11 Memorial, a place where 22 years ago, smoke could be seen in the distance across the Long Island Sound. Today, it serves as a sacred reminder to never forget. Connecticut's 9-11 ceremony is usually held a few days earlier so that family members can attend the larger ceremony in New York City. In Westport, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.